Cursor dropped version 2.2 with a feature that my favorite agentic coding tools like Claude Code and Codex by definition will never have. And it's not even listed here in the title. So in this quick video, I'm going to go over it. For context, I was really excited when Cursor 2 dropped. I had really high expectations and I was quickly let down. And to be completely honest, for the last few months, I've been using Claude Code or Codex in VS Code. I barely even touch Cursor because even though I could use Claude Code or Codex within Cursor, either via extension or the terminal, I always felt that VS Code was cleaner and worked better. And one of the biggest features for Cursor 2.0 was their built-in browser. And at the time, its selling point was that you can debug easily within Cursor without needing Chrome Dev Tools or the Playwright MCP. Having the browser within Cursor had this built-in functionality. But with 2.2, they released Browser Layout and Style Editor, which allows you to use the built-in browser to design and code simultaneously. And it's kind of like using Figma or these no-code editors where you can drag and design and move around the elements of how you want your app or your website to look. But when you make these changes in the browser and cursor, it actually updates your code base. So if I open cursor back up and I start the browser and I go to the project on localhost, we see my fake make money online website, but forget that. Cursor looks the same. We have our file directory, we have our agent, we have our terminal, and here's the browser in the middle. But now I can click this button. And besides being able to click an element, which will then be added as context to your agent, allowing you to tell your agent exactly what you wanted to work on, you can actually work on yourself without sending it to the agent, without wasting tokens, without potentially, most likely, breaking other stuff in the process because the agent didn't understand you. And this happens in real development as well. I can't tell you how many times back in the day I would have a developer fix some UI element and I wasn't clear enough and something else would break along the way. So now if we click this button, we have the ability, just like a no code editor to change things around really quickly. For example, changing the vertical padding, horizontal padding, changing the font, changing colors, moving things around, changing basic UI elements. Most product managers or designers want to make these small changes themselves and getting a developer to go in the code and change the padding is such a mission, especially because they have so much more important things to do. So the fact that you can now do this yourself within Cursor, where it can move elements around, and then Cursor will make the code changes itself is, in my opinion, a huge unlock. And then when you pair that up with being able to select the element, passing it as context to the agent, and then telling them what you want will save us so much time. In fact, this is what I dreamt of 10 years ago when I was building my first app. Let your developers or your agents like Claude Code work on the backend logic, work on the business logic, work on the things that matter while you yourself can easily futz around with the UI. And the only other tool that I've seen have something similar to this right now is Replit, but I don't think you really drag and drop. I think you still select the element and then tell the agent to change it. But if you've done it before, you know how many things break along the way. So in my opinion, this is huge and I'll still be able to keep running Claude Code in the terminal or Codex as an extension and focus on the big things while I'm able to play around with a copy, remove the pixels exactly how I want them to be. So I thought this was worth sharing. I'll drop a link to the full blog post below. I recommend checking this out because Codex and Cloud Code are terminal tools. I don't see them ever having this functionality where you can easily drag and drop things or have a GUI for changing your UI. That is something only an IDE experience can give you. And of course, everyone else will copy this. I'm sure we'll get this soon in anti-gravity, in VS Code, I really hope that we'll get something like this in Xcode for developing iOS apps. It's only a matter of time. By the way, one other feature that I found really cool is this new debug agent, which essentially is a cursor system prompt that will pass to whatever model you choose to help you debug your issue. We you give a context of what's wrong. It will look at your whole code base. It might run tests. It might add more logging and it helps you figure out what's wrong with your code, which is kind of a, more of a manual process that we've been doing with our agents up until now. I have a slash command for that in Cloud Code, but that's subject for another video. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.